started. Mm -hmm. Hi, friends with crows. Hey, everyone. Oh, I forgot to put your handle on. <laughs> Do you want me to restart? Good morning. Good afternoon. Do you want me you to love me? You love Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not used to doing it. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> I'm not used to putting handles in. Sorry. How is everybody today from this wonderful herb mem? Welcome. This wonderful, wonderful lavender field in the south of the UK. Welcome. Lean towards happy. Welcome. Welcome. Oh yes, it's very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. And I'm going to stand up in a minute to show you the beauty. It's quite actually, it's quite busy here today. It's quite busy. Um, there's a lot of people around, but we've come to quite a quiet area, so hopefully it won't be too loud. Jay, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you. Hi, Laura. Welcome. So I'm going to stand up now and just show you the the full view. Hey Greg, how are you doing my love? And there's Joel sat there taking photos. <laughs> hey everyone. Hey Jen. So as you saw before at two o'clock, Joel's wonderful scope in the lavender, th lavender field. Indra's kind of pissed him off now because I forgot to put his hand in. <laughs> I used it. Oh, so lovely. Yes, it is actually really, really beautiful. Sundance, welcome. Welcome to this wonderful space. And the aroma is just stunning. When you when you actually get a waft from, through the wind, it's actually really yummy and gorgeous. And Joel was here a few weeks ago taking some photographs. I'm guessing he came Last at dusk week. time, was it? Last week. Um, just stunning, be blissful. It, do you have any around you, um, Greg? I'm, I'm wondering how it grows in the US. You know, you, you've got huge fields, or how do they, um, and where, and where do they grow? Hello from Hollywood, welcome. Yeah, it smells really good. It's, it's really sweet smell, actually. It's one of those smells that you kind of only grasp in the wind. It's absolutely stunning. It really is. It's just, it's just, it's just so peaceful. You just want to lie down and sleep, right? As soon as I got here, I just yawned. <laughs> so I intend to take a little bit of that time just to, to really feel the relaxation that comes from lavender. And all we all know, don't we, that lavender is, is fantastic for sleep. It's uh, such a great, great, great flower for that. It grows in gardens in Canada, not wild plants. Interesting, interesting. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's, it's a really hardy plant actually, so it's. Um, I was just finding that it was really dry, um, so I had a feeling it needs a, needs a little bit of water because it's kind of dry. Um, I need to go tell them it needs some water. <laughs> Please water your plants. We've got some lovely bees coming along. Thanks, Joel. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not sharing for uh, putting my website up. <laughs> Really Thanks for the heart. We have some in our front garden. James, welcome. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Show my face. Well, I will in a minute. Isn't it nicer to see the plants? Isn't it nicer to see the plants? It's gorgeous. Thanks for sharing. I'll be getting told off by Joel in a minute because I forgot to put his handle in. <laughs> not purposely, my love. Not purposely. Okay. So, so why does it say it, it says gratitude in my scope title today? And, and there's a reason behind that. Um, what's boo? What's boo? Because I didn't put you out my handle. I know, I, I totally forgot. I don't add handles usually. And when I mean, he was lovely enough to put mine in, then I, I totally forgot. So I'm sure it'll be, I'll be forgiven. I'll do it tomorrow. So anyway, <laughs> oh, <son laughs> what of part of tomorrow. England are we in? What part are we in? in I'm in not Surrey. at home. In Surrey. Okay, we're in Surrey. So we're in the south. We're near Purley. We're in Purley. Well, between Purley Where is this place? It's in Purley in, um, in Surrey. the south of England, in Surrey, okay? So I just wanted to say that this week has been just absolutely, it's taken my breath away with lots of you um, showing your gratitude for Silent Moon. And, and you know me, I'm one of these people who, um, I, I'm always very grateful. I'm always, always very, very grateful for, for seeing Silent Moon photos and Silent Moon um, words and testimonials. Oh, no. Um, 
been put onto social media it really touches my heart that things are, are really working for you when you purchase silent moon offerings i love someone who talks about blasphemous uh, right okay let's just go away um so first of all i want to start with james james you're you're there now so i'm going to grasp you while i can how wonderful you were. So James actually did a whole scope the other night on um, Silent Moonness and opened his parcel in front of everybody. I was at, I was actually, I've got to be honest with you, I, I was in tears, but I was actually on the edge of going, oh my God, is he going to break it? Because I was really worried it was going to break because I, I obviously know that, hang on. I obviously, <laughs> obviously know that um, I wrap things very, 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 um, well and but it's very glad it's it's all glass isn't it so it's kind, I'm kind of like oh my god he's opening it really roughly oh my god he's opening it live, <laughs> and, he's opening it live. And, and anything could happen and something might have fallen off but it was absolutely wonderful and i loved the way you shared and your face looked so happy and you the way you read everything really you, you, you kept it to yourself which i love okay thought that too you thought that too good melissa well actually Joel thought it was fantastic the way he opened everything. He just kind of went, ah, and it was sort of very sort of masculine and enthusiastic. Really enthusiastic. That was it. It was fantastic. But obviously I know what's, how things are in there. And I always worry with the post getting thrown around or the mail getting thrown around that I'm going to be like, oh my God, there's going to be nothing left. <laughs> there's been no reports of that, has there? But there's been nothing like that yet. So it was wonderful. So love your lively spirit. Thank you, my darling. You're, you're wonderful too. And it was great. And it all lasted. And, and you know what? I, the little sort of little glittery little thing that I put around with the heart I cut out that heart and it it dropped down and there, were, there was kind of a reason for that I'd never done it before and I just wanted to create this watch watch the scope and you'll see everybody the bottle I created with this heart I, I'd never done anything like that and I thought oh I'm just gonna do this it just feels good to, to kind of cut this out and put the heart here and that, that it feels right for James I don't know maybe it was maybe it was you? right for me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway love that scope it is shipping no no it's not that expensive expensive there's um when you go to the cart my love what's your name jane jane when you go to the cart my love whatever you buy it'll come up before you buy it so you can see the shipping so um everything that i i do is is very very eco-friendly so you know i wrap it very eco-friendly it comes in glass it's wrapped well um, I don't use plastics because I, I just don't believe in plastics unless they're specific plastics that are all eco based and also when I when I send out I send out re recycled uh, boxes so I ask you to recycle the box if you can because it's really important that we at least do something for the planet so you might find that you get a box that's got um, had Jeffrey Star lipstick in it in the past because I'm a big fan of him or it might have, have some fairy lights in it and James was laughing because he'd had uh, fairy lights twice and the scroll yeah you will get a little scroll sometimes if I feel you want a scroll or you need a scroll I'll give you a scroll not everybody gets a scroll I got some a letter. you got a letter oh no you got a letter as well I think um, and you get and some people get a message in a bottle you know it's all different for Everybody. Anyway, so that's James, wonderful James. And then there's Melissa, if you're still there, my darling. Like she created, if you haven't gone on to Silent Moon Imaginarium on Facebook, uh, hi Brooke. She created this wonderful, wonderful, like we call it in England a mobile. <laughs> I look amazing. I'm in the lavender field, that's why it's so stunning. Um, you make us feel so special oh well you are special um you got a message in a bottle didn't you always wanted one <laughs> so she created like a mobile for her car so she took all the fairies so look on if you look on instagram or you look on social on uh, facebook silent moon imaginary she created with the fairy with the moon with the flower whatever it was a butterfly she took all the little bits that i had you look so beautiful in the field. I've been dancing to Mara, that's why. <laughs> and she hung them in a car and she showed me and it was just like, my heart just melted that you actually do things like that. You actually take those little bits, you're so creative and you use them and, and it's just like, wow, 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 wow. It's just, just, just amazing. It was just so wonderful. So thank you for doing that and thank you for sharing. I know it was absolutely brilliant. Joel's here as well. Yeah. It was brilliant. We loved that. We did. We loved that. Absolutely. And then, of course, we had the lovely Steph. I don't think she's on here today, but Steph, um, I feel like you are always with me. I am. Of course I am. We're all with each other. We're all with each other. Um, and then we had the great Steph who just posted and posted. She's, she's actually bought quite a few um, offerings lately. So love you too. Uh, so you're incredibly hot. Thank you. I, I, uh, well, I'll agree I with you. I see that one. <laughs> oh, no, I'll is. take that compliment. There she is. <laughs> 
So it's all it's it's, bacon it, out here. it's uh, I've probably got lipstick all over my damn face. You're not telling me. No, no I've told you. You had it on your forehead. I had earlier. it on my forehead earlier. It's called the Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. Amazing stuff. Anyway, so let's go back to Steph. Oh my goodness, she just kind of every product she she put it with the, the moon cards and she put it next to her Alice in Wonderland range and she just she went for it and so they're all shared as well and, and all her magical testimonials about um, Maiden Mother Crone yeah. and what else uh, did all of them Tibetan everything courts, she's bought Tibetan, Tibetan courts, courts Rose Quartz she's Rose just courts. she's just been so wonderful so this this scope was really just a from the lavender field which I'm going to show here uh, in front of me show my gratitude um, for everything that you do for me, everything that you do to make Silent Moon just that little, isn't it? It is, Brooke, it's amazing to make Silent Moon just that little bit more special um, and get the world to know what it's all about and how it helps to heal everybody. I mean, it does, and, and it's wonderful, and it's wonderful. So, as many of you know, it's fantastic. I know, and this is, and this is Silent Moon. <laughs> but as uh, many of you know, lavender. I'm just gonna. Um, oh yeah, have you got the? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lavender is for sleep. Lavender is a wonderful, wonderful plant for sleep. I haven't actually created um, a flower essence with lavender yet because I'm not called to. And I always use the flowers when I'm called by the flowers. And if the flower doesn't call me, then I don't, um, I don't create with it. I don't force it. Um, hi, Christy. So next year is definitely going to be a foxglove because foxglove has been shouting at me. And can you believe it? I don't think Vanessa's on here. But Vanessa actually um, put me some seeds together of her white foxglove. So next year will be a very unusual, beautiful white foxglove. And I had worked with the foxglove sort of spiritually and sort of sat with her and she was going, yes, yes, yes. And about a couple of weeks later, um, after walking through the pink foxgloves, Vanessa came and said, there she is in the green, yay! Uh, and she said I, she had a white foxglove and she'd given me some seeds and she sent them to me. So there you go, that's gonna be the essence next year. Um, the white fox one to me is very unusual and it's stunning when I saw her picture. Absolutely gorgeous, just stunning flower. Um, so, 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 is this a public park or someone's farm? It's, it's a farm, really it's lovely. a farm you can pay to get in. It's a farm you can pay to get in. So we pay a pound to come in per person, which is nothing really to support the place. Um, it's quite busy today with it being Saturday, but we've come to quite a quiet area. So um, if you go in the middle where there's a phone box and everything, and there's a few structures in the middle, there's a lot more people. Um, but this area is quite quiet. It's just stunning. And then I was just saying at the beginning, Brooke, in the waft of the wind, you get like, it's so gorgeous because it's not permanently smelling of lavender. Just get that waft of wind and it just, you can smell it in the air. It's just gorgeous. A bit like you can with jasmine in the morning or in the evening. It's just got that, it's not intense, but it just comes now and again. I just want to yawn and sleep. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's stunning. Thank you for sharing. It's made me really relaxed. It does. It's the colour. It's just colour therapy. It's what it's all about. It's a higher self it's beautiful it really is it's a sea of lavender so what i wanted to say before i go is that as we know lavender is all about sleep and i've talked i talk a lot about the flowers and especially when taking flower essences it's very much about the higher self but believe it or not the um the gem essences the gem elixirs that that we create or i create are all about stabilizing they're all about grounding and so this beautiful purple piece of lapidolite, which also, oh yes, there you go, is also not true. Had a, uh, not true. Had a lovely day. I don't know what that was, but maybe it was a chat. <laughs> um, it smells nice in the wind, my love. Yeah, you can smell it in the wind. This lovely piece of lapidolite is also. It's a silent moon elixir, and it's also for sleep. So it's got the same energy as the lavender but it's more for grounding the body so if you're somebody who doesn't feel grounded and you're very much into your higher self into your higher energies and, and you just haven't got your feet on the ground then I would always suggest that lapidolite would be the one to help you with sleep rather than working with the lavender because the lavender is more for somebody who feels that they're too grounded and they, they're really kind of heavy and so that's what it's, it's really it's a really good way of showing you that there's the two in the same colour. This actually has a kind of natural, you see the shiny bits, there's a natural form of lithium in here, which is for sleepiness. 
I need to get some. It's on my website, so silent-moon.co.uk. And, and Joel's taken it. Yep. Here's Joel. Lovely Joel. Watch his, watch his scope that was just before mine at two. I do. So. Uh, oh, thank you, my darling. So I said I'd have, oh, have turn it around. some licks uh, What was happening for me at the time was I just wouldn't go to bed. So I'd end up in bed between two and four o'clock and be up at sort of eight, eight thirty. And I noticed that it was like I wasn't really at choice about it. So the pillow light really was one. Well, it's called sleepy head, isn't it? On the yes, it's called on the, sleepy on head. On the side, the sleepy light, head. Yeah. And what I'll say is is the difference. I instantly noticed that I was much more willing to listen to those inner prompts that were saying, "Go to bed, Joel." <laughs> I'm rather going, "No, no, I have to do more work," or you know, "I have to watch something else," or whatever it is. So what I find, I still occasionally have a late night, but definitely I'm going to bed much earlier. And the other thing that I really noticed, uh, and I was taking it with the Tibetan courts as well at the same time. Yeah. Um, so that does other things, but I noticed that my eyes have opened. I've always had kind of quiet hooded eyes. Um, but uh, they're a bit squinty at the moment but basically I've really noticed how um, my eyes have really opened so that again relates to sort of the sleepy head sleepy uh, sleepy stuff going on and uh, yeah they were great brilliant well yeah it is, it's really it's amazing how um, thanks Joel it's and gem elixirs work they're just they're just great I mean they changed my life that's why I make them um, so you were saying Jane that your 13 year old daughter can't sleep um, I'm working I've been working with a wonderful 13 year old um, who has I'm not going to give her name because her mum comes on here regularly she's not on here today but the child has taken herself off medita medica medic meditation medication since she's been working with me because she suffered from OCD and now the child herself naturally um, took herself off uh, medication because she didn't need it. Um, she actually worked. She had a she had a consultation with me, um, and so she she actually did a one to one with me, and we worked together over Skype. I worked with her personally. I created a, a bottle for her that was specific for her, it and was then a consultation, yeah, yeah, it was a consultation. What's in my nose? Is it getting everywhere? Yeah, yeah. Well, I need to take it off. <laughs> I'm wiping it because I'm not used to wearing such such a colour. Um, so yeah, she was. Um, she's absolutely. She's absolutely fine now. She's doing really, really well, and um, she's she's just finding that she's. Your, your son has ADHD. So yeah, it's. Just, I mean, it's a similar thing. So what she does. What I always say to people when they work with me and when they take something like that, because the energy it can work really fast or it can be really subtle that you will. You'd hardly know the change. Um, is that? Is it still on my nose? <laughs> <laughs> is that I always ask people nice God, no. it, I always ask people um, to write a journal so you see the changes so specifically for uh, when you're taking your elixir follow through with a journal your nose know, is fine <laughs> now I had lipstick across it damn stuff um, so follow work with a journal and and then you will see the changes hello but this this was wonderful wonderful yeah so if you could put my website up, Joel, it'd be great. Somebody look, wants to look. Yeah. Extreme L, we look. Yeah, so, yes, I do. I do them by Skype, Brooke. So what you do is you just, um, if you go to the bottom of the page and you'll, you'll see right at the bottom of the homepage, it'll say about consultations and you just press on that. And I do them on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, when you have a one-to-one, -one, it's obviously it's much deeper than you buying it off the um, off the site so I say when you buy off the site follow your heart don't necessarily read what's going on on the site just follow your heart and, and the pictures are very similar so that allows you to really pick from your heart space and what pulls you um, no I don't I don't do Reiki um, reason being is um, I have a thing about Reiki because I I I don't really personally connect with it and because I come from a pretty authentic space I have to do what sings to my heart and I work a lot with um, this energy with the nature kingdom and the fairy elementals and um, the nature's, nature's world you know that the earth so that's where I come from so I do all my healing through consultations so so yeah I've worked with quite a lot of children children are kind of pulled to me and I work obviously with my own kids as well so and, and it's amazing for kids because they respond really fast because you know they're young so everything the response is brilliant so if you want to pick just from the site that's that's great but obviously remember that that isn't as personal so when you have a consultation personally 
you, you we really get to the bottom of what it is that you're looking to achieve and it's been wonderful to see people just blossoming and, and believe me sometimes you can feel worse um, before you feel better because that's just the way it's working on vibrations so that's just the way things happen so you've just got to be prepared to do that and um, also another thing is that Silent Moon um, we, I work very strongly with the shadow energy so the stuff that we want to get rid of the stuff that we kind of you know that comes up like anger jealousy all those things that are are there for most of us but we tend to run away from them well my stuff tends to bring that up I've noticed through looking at people's testimonials it comes there <laughs> <laughs> so what I say is that you're only pulled to me if that's if you're really prepared to work with that work and you want to release it so that and it's wonderful for that so when that stuff comes up and you feel like shit before you feel better then it's I always tell people it's brilliant it's coming up to the surface for you to let it go it's just the best thing that you can do it's difficult to release it yeah well this will help you release is it, it but really? is it difficult oh sorry well I work with you so if you do a consultation I'll be with you all the way so I, I will give you tools to to help with release so it's not an issue it is what is it sorcery, is it sorcery or more meditation? it's alchemy I think more than anything I think what I do is I, I just I work with the energy of nature so I work with the nature kingdom I work with the the fairies I work with the flowers I, I meditate I meditate but what you do when you take it you take it in drops in water it's like batch flower essences apart from mine are all made by moonlight and not sunlight because I work with the energy of the moon so if you take in batch flowers um, you'd be taking it similar in a similar way um, and I also wanted to say, I know James, if you're still on there, my love, um, you said the other day about, you know, I, I take it the way that I want to take it and I take it quite, you know, I take it like this and I take it really, you know, I take more than maybe I should. And that's, you, you don't, you take it because you want to take it that way. I always have to say to people, you know, take two to three drops in a glass of water three times a day. Or sometimes I tune in and I go, okay, so this person wants seven drops three times a day. Great. But with you, I know you're taking it because you're intuitive so don't worry that you're taking it the way you're taking it it's absolutely fine you're pulled to take it that way then don't worry about what I say just take it if you want to take the whole bottle in one go then don't <laughs> but make sure you're doing it in drops and spreading it out are you are you some glows or souls brighter than others uh, how can you tell I kind of missed that it was a long one better to take it in water instead yeah absolutely I do agree with that Christy definitely the reason why is because it has a longer effect Drop it on the tongue if you're going out and you want it in your bag. That's fine now and again. You need to sell bigger bottles. <laughs> the 30 mil. Well, this is another thing. I mean, the, the, the bottle sizes get um, confused, okay? The 10, mil 10 millimeter bottle is more expensive because the stock bottle is stronger. So you will get more... You would get more of it, I won't say hit because it's not the word, you get more of a release and, a str and stronger work is done with a smaller bottle. Okay, the 30 milliliter is cheaper, but it's bigger, so it's weaker. So you, you tend to have more of a gradual effect on the 30 milliliter bottle. So if you're picking 30 milliliter, that's usually because you feel you're slightly more sensitive. So if you know that you're a very sensitive person, then stick with the 30 milliliter first. If you know that you're one of these people like me who just wants to go, ah! And, and just take it then just go for the 10 milliliter but you just drop it in your water you can take up to four to five essences in one go you know they're not going to harm you and then once you've once you've sort of worked with that and you've thought mm, maybe this is too much I'll just tell you to reduce it slightly once you tell me what's going on with you that place is probably the calmest place in the earth yeah <laughs> it probably is one of the many there's lots of people around believe it or not so silent hyphen away, know, because we're talk where well, we're talking a lot silent hyphen moon.co.uk is me gratitude to so many people who've supported thank you Joel has supported me this week this man here is amazing he supports me beyond support this guy and I didn't put him I feel so bad for not putting him in the handle and I'll have to include him for Don't the rest of the week. Bad, it's okay. um, but <laughs> put your put your name down again. He okay. he's so supportive of Silent Moon beyond and it's just it's fantastic and is doing so much for it and helping me because he believes in what I do. So it's that to me touches my heart and just makes me cry because as, as we know these things aren't easy to get out into the world because hello Melissa I just talked about you before um, aren't easy to get out into the world 
only because um oh oh you were saying hello to christy um because we have a lot of skeptics out there and when i get just one more person who believes and sees and takes it and goes wow it's just you don't know how much it sings to my heart it's just like great another person who believes and sees that these vibrational essences really do work and i do believe that one day these wonderful wonderful essences i've got to show you this will actually rule the surviving off this form of healing so there you go to end my scope there's a wonderful bee in the Yay. lavender it needs support Lovely absolutely bee. I was drawn to your scopes. I'm so glad. I have. Oh, thank you, my darling. I'm so glad you're here. It's. It. I'm. I'm always grateful for everybody that comes on. So pretty. Thank you, everybody. So I'm going to leave now. You've got a lot about Silent Moon, so you can check me out. If and also, if you go onto the homepage, just join my email, and uh, that's where I put all my offers. So my offers are always on the newsletter. I don't really do them any other way yet. But join the newsletter, and then you can keep up with what I'm doing. And at the moment, we've got a couple of new ones. We've got Fairy Portal, which I know that Melissa's on. Um, we've also got Red Temp, which goes with the Yoni Steam. And we've got Star Jasmine, which are yet to come out on the website, but they will be there soon. So love you, love you loads. And I will see you Bye tomorrow guys. at 2.30. Bye from Jolton. See you later.